Good morning. Today, I'm giving a speech at none other than NYU. What is life? Let's go. Good morning, New York City. Good morning. Hi. Good to see you so. Good, good to see you. you. Oh my god, I'm missing you. I miss you. That's why I had to come today. <laughs> Thank you. This morning I'm getting yummy stick. It's a small hole in the wall shop on 17th and 8th Ave. Best people in the world. I've been coming to them for over a year. They're they're literally just they're just the best. It's like they're just so nice and uh, and, it, and it's the best food. So shout out yummy stick. I love you guys. Good to see you. Good to see you. Say hello Thank you. Thank you. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Everything good with you? Yeah, thank God, Kelly. Yeah. Thank God. Yes. <laughs> I've been making a lot at home, but I've been missing yours. Of course. Yeah. It's not the same. Just got coffee at Stone Street Coffee. Said hello to Elena. I've been coming here for over a year as well, and Elena's just like the nicest person ever. Always hooks it up with free coffee. Please. Please go to Stone Street. Please go to Yummy Stick. Tell them that I sent you there. You will not be disappointed. IVL going to get you right. It's a lovely day. Lovely people. Cheers. Today I have a very special challenge. It is speaking at NYU at a college. As of right now, I'm doing a bucket list series, 30 videos in 30 days, checking off something off my bucket list every single day. And I feel like it's always been a dream of mine to give like kind of like a TED talk type thing. You know, you see the TED talks online, you're like, damn, that's kind of sick. Like, I hope one day I have enough to talk about that I can do a speech like that. But to me, it's just as cool to do it at NYU. I went to college for a very little amount of time. So to be given the opportunity to speak at a college is very flattering because I didn't get into a college when I first applied and then I ended up going, but that was just for fun kind of thing. <laughs> we got a lot to do before then, so let's get into it. doing some editing, about to eat my yummy stick. You know, the grind continues. This is kind of random. I just like read a quote that I liked that I thought I'd share. Everyone's gonna die. What's important is the stories they're gonna tell. I think these 30 days is kind of like that. If I'm being fully honest, the reason I started this bucket list series was not just to complete my bucket list, that's amazing and I want to do that, but honestly, because I was scared to post videos, because I was scared if they were good enough, which is crazy because I made so many videos, but I was just going through a little bit of a rut where I just didn't feel mega confident in my videos. And all I wanted to do with this month was just like eliminate that, that fear of it's not good enough because nothing's ever good enough. No one's ever perfect. For me, if I show up every single day, like like this morning, a lot of you are like, did y'all do an ice plunge this morning? Hey. I did do one. I did one this morning. Told ya. I showed up for that ice plunge every morning that I've been in New York. It's been such a fun challenge to really push myself and overcome this fear, which was literally posting on YouTube because I just didn't feel good enough, which is crazy. Social media only shows one part of the story. We're off to a good start, but let's keep it going. Let's get over these fears together. All right, gotta grind. Time keep flying out the window. Going 60 in the residential. Thought this shit was gonna be simple Please someone tell me how to Oh my god, I done made enough mistakes for three more lifetimes When you go really fast on the board, you like immediately start crying I don't know if you can see it, but I'm like totally crying I don't know where to turn Back at the house, it's dark, it's been a few hours. I'm really tired today, but I gotta get myself hyped for this. Can't have a stand-up part two. I'm talking $50 salad, New York prices. Can't let that happen, so I gotta rally. <laughs> yeah, like I totally have like a big speech today. Oh nice. Good luck, man. Are you nervous? Yeah, no matter what, I, public speaking is not like, oh, I'm just so perfect you at it. You DM some people that are going to like boo you while you're on stage. That's crazy. That's that's not a friend. That's that's not a friend. Hello. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm your neighbor. And I was just curious if you had any um, salt. Would you let go of my hand, please? I would like to continue this hold. Okay. I'm out of salt. That's a burn. <laughs> We have arrived at NYU. Ashley's undercover because she's a guest to everybody. With the mask, you can't tell who it is. They cannot tell. It's an event that's inspired by Singles Inferno, which is like a Netflix series, and I'm giving a speech about how to find love. Let's go. 
this will be for you. Okay, this one's yeah. for me. I will introduce you. Should I come in? Yeah. yeah. Can you stand like here and then just run up there? We're not gonna wait any longer. Without further ado, please welcome Kelly LaCosta. What's up? Let's go! What's up, ACU? Let's go! Get loud! Get loud! Who's ready to find some love? Well, first off, thanks for coming. We're gonna do a quick exercise before we start. Everybody, just kiss somebody. Yeah, those two back there, I love it. Okay, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Let's be serious, let's be serious. This is NYU, I can never get in here, so that's why I have to give a speech. How to find love by? Doing what excites, of course. This is a mantra I live by, something I created back in 2020, and since then, it has transformed my life. A simple three-word phrase, do what excites. But how? Look at how I started. Sad boy hours. So this is a little backstory for me. I didn't have my first girlfriend until I was 22. No relationship for 22 years. Wow. I know. Anyways, I put this picture of a birthday cake in this grandma because for a long time, every time I had a birthday, I would wish in my head for a girlfriend. And sounds sad, but there's light at the end of the tunnel. Don't worry. And I was like, what the fuck? Why me? Like, am I not lovable or something, you know? So the first step to finding love. Any guesses how to find love? Love yourself. <laughs> ah. All right, we gotta manifest that ish, okay? You want something, you gotta tell the world, you gotta write it down, okay? I want a girlfriend, I want this, I want a boyfriend, whatever. Patience, 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 patience. Look, eventually, this could be you. Like I said before, if you look for love and you desire it, you're gonna squeeze it. You're gonna, you want it so bad, you're just squeezing, but just like a puppy, you're gonna kill the puppy, okay? You gotta let it go. But you guys are all in the right position. You guys are in a great group. I'm sure there's some couples in here. Any couples in here? Whoa. Well, maybe after tonight, there'll be some couples, okay? Don't be shy, guys, don't be shy. So you gotta be the person you'd like to be in a relationship with. Personally, like, this is my idol, Steph Curry. You know, I wanna be like him, I wanna be sexy, I wanna be handsome, I wanna be hot, you know? Oh, and, and good, good at basketball, that too. And then boom, out of nowhere, you might find someone. Yeah! We love love! This is my lovely girlfriend, Ashley, who actually happens to be here. Oh! Come on out! Yeah! That is my presentation. Thank you, thank you. Ah, how did we first meet? You wanna tell? Um, Kelly and I first met in the Hamptons. I don't know, we just met each other through mutual friends, yep. kinda hit it off on a trip. Okay. He ended up missing his flight. Shout out that flight. What was your favorite date? Favorite date? Well, we recently went to the Bahamas, and that was very fun. Probably when we were in Sweden, and he brought me to the ice hotel, and I thought I was gonna die because it was so cold. What was your first impressions of each other? I thought you were a little crazy. <laughs> That's okay. But oh, not this guy. Did you both sing Kokomo? Dude, I knew you were gonna say some shit. <laughs> I could just see it on your face. Last time I saw this guy, he made me like gritty or something, I forget. <laughs> Ooh, I wanna take ya. Bermuda, Bahamas, come on, pretty mama. You guys have to do long distance. You guys need to go to What is that? A ooh. If he said no, I'd be pissed. I'd be like, that's like easy money. Best pickup line? Be uh, best pickup line? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having us, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Thank you guys. What a day, guys. And another one coming tomorrow. Today was amazing. I think it was day 12. Honestly, I don't know what day it is. Anyways, love you guys. Do it excites. See ya.